Hello friends, welcome back. Today we will be discussing something very interesting that is how to automatically send customized replies to emails on Gmail. Now here I am talking about customized replies, not the auto replies which we set when we are out of office. But you have received some emails and you want to send customized replies to those automatically without any manual intervention. I will show you how it can be achieved on Gmail using Google Sheets. As always, we will first start with the demo. So for the demonstration purpose, we will use this email ID. I will be sending an email on this email ID and I will be expecting an auto response. So let me send an email to this email ID. So I'll put in the subject as course details, uh, body, anything. I'm just writing blah, blah. It could have anything and I'll just send. So this email should be received over here and an automated reply should get triggered. So let's wait for a few seconds. So you could see the email has come in over here. Now internally, one script is running and within few seconds, you should see a reply on this email ID from the one which I had sent. We may have to just wait for a few seconds. You could see the email has come in and the reply tells us what kind of courses we provide so whatever are the courses uh, has been mentioned over here so if you remember when i was drafting this email i had mentioned the subject as course details and based on the subject line an auto re reply has been triggered and it provides all the details so in similar manner we could configure certain replies based on kind of inquiries which we are getting on our email ids and we could have the entire process of sending these emails which we receive on a frequent manner automatically without having to actually go through and draft those emails if you want to see another example i can give you another example very quickly and i would uh, this time i'll write training cost and any body of the email and click on send if i go to my inbox here Within a few seconds, I should be expecting the email. So you could see the email has come in and as expected, a customized reply should be sent. I'm not drafting any emails. I'm just coming to my inbox from where I had sent this email and I'm waiting for a reply. So I'm just refreshing it and waiting for the email. So you could see the email has come in and if I just open that, now this is a different reply this email talks about the cost for the different uh, courses so you can see without actually drafting and going through those emails we were able to send customized replies based on whatever was were the contents of the subject of the email hope you found this demo interesting now let's see how it can be implemented with the help of google sheets and google apps script so this is my google sheet and if you see like uh, it contains two columns uh, i'll focus on column b so column B has a different responses. For example, if the subject contains something related to price, uh, then this is the response. Uh, one thing, please make note, I'm not using the column A anywhere in the script, which I'll be showing you in a few minutes. But uh, this is just for my reference. So uh, I have drafted this response. If there is any query relating to pricing, if there is any query related to services, then this is my response. Similarly, if there is any query related to courses, then this is my response. So column a i'm not using it in my script but it is only column b which i'll be using it column a i am just using it for reference so depending on your situation depending on the kind of emails which you receive uh, you could also create a similar sheet and you could have different responses so this would be a one-time effort where we would be like uh, jotting down all your responses the next part is the actual script which is working in the background and uh, sending these auto replies so i'll show you that to open the script editor, you have to go to extensions and click on app script and a window similar to this will open. So I have it ready. The script is ready. I'll explain you on, uh, it on a high level. The script is very simple. Also, it could be available on my blog. So you could refer it and use it as per your requirement. So I'll explain you the important uh, parts of this script. Uh, these two lines, which I'm highlighting line number three and four, like they are making a reference to the spreadsheet. So this is my entire spreadsheet and I have this tab mail response within that. So the next line number four is a variable which is holding a reference to the worksheet mail response. I'll explain you line 
5 and 6 in a bit but uh, I'll first explain you the most important line over here which is this line which I'm highlighting uh, the line number 10 so at line number 10 we are creating a query if you would read it it is showing label inbox is colon unread after some variable I'll explain you in detail so what we are trying to do is like to build a query that would be fetching all the unread emails from this variable and this variable if you would see it is utilizing the variable today which was at line number five so in a nutshell what we are trying to do is like all the emails which we received for the current date which are unread we are trying to fetch the list of those emails using this query variable i'll show you how this query variable is used in the next line which is line number 11 so we are creating another variable called threads and using the gmail app dot search query so when this line of code will get executed in the threads variable we will have the entire list of all the emails which are received for the current date which is today and which are also unread uh, moving forward i'll explain you the use of this variable will found in a while but now at from line number 15 what we are doing is like we are iterating through all the threads which are unread so lines from 17 to 21 onwards like what we are doing is like we are iterating one by one for all the unread threads and from those unread threads what we are doing is like we are fetching the last message so if you see line number 19 here we are fetching the last message of the thread now a thread is a set of email conversations which happen between the sender and the receiver so we are, our intention here is to reply to the latest email within that thread because of which we are fetching the last message in this last message variable uh, once we have this last message we are then fetching its id we will be using it somewhere in the code later on and also we are fetching its subject as we are fetching the subject if we need like if we need the body of the subject that is also possible you could create a variable like this use the last message dot get body here so if you need the body we can fetch the body as well and now comes this bull found variable which i had explained a few seconds earlier so here we are initializing it to false why that we will come to know when we go through these lines of code so we have the subject of the email in this variable subject and now what I'm trying to see if my subject includes pricing, then I'm setting my reply body. So let me create a variable first where reply body. Okay. So I'm setting reply body is equal to get range B2 dot get display value. Why? Because if I come to my Excel sheet, uh, I told you like I'm using column A for reference, but my actual email body would be coming from the column B. So if there is a query on pricing then this would be the response which i would be sending so if you see i have included these uh, words pricing price cost so if any of these words are there in the subject line then the reply body would be fetched from cell b2 similarly if there is something related to services then the reply would be fetched from b3 and so on and so forth so in this example i am only considering the subject and creating my responses but we have also fetched the body and if you expect certain keywords in the body and you want to create a reply based on those keywords within the body, you can do it. The only thing is like you'll have to create this kind of a sheet and uh, like you, you should know like what kind of keywords coming from the subject or the body and what kind of a reply you want to draft. So based on that, uh, you could include more replies in your sheet and you could like uh, continue with this if else kind of a structure and include those conditions and you should be able to draft your own customized uh, replies. So what will happen is like once it finds like uh, in my example, since I'm just considering the subject, for example, if the subject con con contains cost, then my reply is picked up and I set the bull found as true because my customized email will only be sent if either of these conditions are fulfilled if nothing gets fulfilled the bull found will remain false and the email reply would not be sent. so if you see at line number 40 we are checking if the bull found is true then only send the email and also mark the email as read so once when you'll be re-executing the same script uh, we won't be considering the email 
uh, which uh, has already been read, you'll be just focusing on the emails which are unread. So this is the coding part of it. Uh, I have tried to give you a small example where you could customize the email replies, but again, it will depend on what kind of queries do you receive and you may need to add some more conditions based on cert certain text from the body of the email or the subject and create these kind of replies. Now, how this script would be executing because I cannot like run this script again and again and try to see if there are any emails and I uh, send an auto reply from this. So to avoid this, we could create a trigger. To create a trigger, you have to click on this button over here the clock kind of a button and you'll be coming at this page and here there is an option to add a trigger so once you click on it uh, you have to provide the name of the function so the name of my function was auto reply to emails i'll show you once again in my code in a while so this was the name of my function and you should select the event source so here you have to provide time driven and here you could set an hourly timer or if you see like a daily timer or weekly timer, depending on your requirements, I would suggest an hourly timer, which would be like triggered every hour. So what will happen is after an interval of one hour, the script which we had seen, uh, this was the script that will get triggered. So this is the function name, which we had mentioned on the uh, window where, I, where we are creating the trigger. So this will get triggered and all the emails which are unread, it will try to search if there is anything related to these keywords and an auto reply would be sent without any manual intervention. So this was how we can configure auto replies. I know like it can be configured based on the requirements. This is just an example which you could use and create your own solution. Uh, to refer to the code, do not worry. I have it on my blog. I'll show you right away. Like this is the blog automationandagile.com and within uh, the Google Sheets section, the, this one auto send custom replies to emails. If you'd come over here, the entire code is available. Uh, you could use it as a reference and create your own auto responders. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you like my videos, I would request you to please subscribe to my channel. Guys, thanks for joining. I will see you soon.